Hello everybody, uh, it is a very very late, late night, uh, I am going to go over here, uh, cause I am tired, and I feel that I owe you guys an explanation as to the absence as of late, um, I've just been enjoying my summer and just to be quite frank, I just got a little burnt out on making videos, um, I mean, there was some interesting stuff there and there. I mean, we had Comic-Con that just happened, but, you know, I'm not really into the whole Marvel thing. The Black Panther trailer looked pretty cool, though. Um, and uh, I've just been kind of pausing on movies in general. Just, you know, just like literally the movie that I'm going to talk about right now is the only movie that I saw uh, this month, and that is uh, uh, The Gray Man. Because... Um, I just been giving myself a break. Um, I'm just kind of slowly getting back into watching movies again, but I'm just, you know, just kind of doing my uh, my thing for now. But in the meantime, uh, let's talk about The Gray Man for a second. Uh, yeah, the Russos can't uh, can't function well without someone watching over them. Um, it was evident in, uh, <clears throat> in, uh, in Cherry, which I also did not like. I'm just going to stand up actually, cause I'm going to fall asleep soon. Um, but, um, but yeah, uh, uh, Cherry was just a mess. Stylistically, it was just too much. And, uh, I felt that, uh, um, just overly stylized and just weird placements of humor as well. Um, and it just felt very disjointed. And I feel the same here. Like, it's very disjointed. Um, very familiar, too. It, it just doesn't feel like uh, like it's doing anything uh, uh, inventive or new. It's just very cliche thriller. Um uh, some of the talent is interesting, like Ryan Gosling. I always enjoy Ryan Gosling. Um, I've uh, I've been on a uh, Blade Runner kick lately, so I've been kind of revisiting both movies. Um, I might actually get the book uh, that was it's that inspired the movies, but um, but uh, but I always enjoy his deadpan type acting. I think that it's uh, I think that it works pretty well for the roles that he gets. I feel like it it just complements the stuff that he's doing pretty well. Um, I like Danny DeArmas a little bit. Chris Evans I could not buy for one second as a, uh, a sociopath. I just, you know, um, he's just too nice. You know, his aura is just too polite. Um, he doesn't have a lot of dark edges to him. Um, also his voice just doesn't, you know, evoke, um, aggressiveness. So, um, so, you know, um, uh, the action was pretty sloppy as well. Just, it was pretty laughable at times. Um, but it just proves that the Russos just don't really know how to write, how to, uh, to create a consistent narrative without having someone else uh, to, uh, to 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 push them in the right directions, uh, as it was in their their Marvel films. Even though I didn't really love them, um, I I think that they're better films comparatively than other pieces uh, in the MCU. Um, at least the ones I've seen. I stopped watching MCU movies from Doctor Strange. So I, and the shows as well. I haven't watched any of the shows, so, um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, I, I, uh, I, I think that this was just another example of just the Russos not knowing how to make a proper movie. Um, I really think that those two movies, it's Marvel movies that they did, or was it three? It was three. Or four, yeah, four. Um, I think that that was because of Kevin Feige and what his involvement in it. Um, I mean, really, I think so. Um, 
because Cherry and the Gray Man are very similar movies in that they just they don't have a good flow. They don't have a flow to be, to really speak of. Um, they're very disjointed. They're very very repetitive in nature, just stylistically. Like I just I get I get knocked punched out of any interest that I had uh, pretty early on. Um, like it's a pretty sloppy movie. I think that's the way that I can put label the gray man. It's just a very sloppy movie. Um, and, uh, I can't believe Netflix put so much money into it too. They put, I, I forget the amount. I want to say like $250 million. Just, Jesus Christ. I, I don't know. Uh, like I, yeah, I don't know. That's that that's that's just nuts. That that's a lot of money to invest into something that really doesn't work. So, um, I would recommend in the future Netflix if you have a future, because I hear that their service is kind of on a downhill spiral right now, which we talked about on this channel uh, previously. That you know that uh, you know that it was bound to happen, um, eventually, um. Hopefully in the future, uh, they will actually see if the product works versus then, you know, going full speed ahead with, with the hopes of a franchise and all this other stuff. Just like, just wait until the movie comes out, see if it works, give it a, a much smaller budget to play with. And then if it's proven to be a success and then give it more money, that's just, you know, I thought that that was the business model, but I guess for Netflix, they just said, just fuck it, you know, they're riding on the hopes with the Russos and all this other shit, so, um, the CGI also didn't look complete either, there were, like, a lot of scenes where, um, like, explosions and certain things, I also don't know what the fuck it is with the Russos when it came to sweeping shots, holy fuck, like, if you watch The Gray Man, I, I dare you to have, to have a drinking game, when it comes to the sweeping shots, I'm pretty sure you'll be dead by the first, like, 30 or so minutes. Because there's so many fucking times that they use the sweeping shots. And it's so funny. I was laughing so hard <laughs> when, like, the 15th sweeping shot appeared. Um, um, also, the dialogue is just so predictable. Like, there's one line that a little girl says near the end, and I literally was like, Hmm? And she says it, and I'm like, it, like, you know. So, uh, if you want a movie filled with cliches, or a movie that you just kind of play in the background, you know, like, you're lending one ear the entire fucking time. You're not really paying attention. I was, wa I was on my phone the entire time while I was watching it. Um, and, you know, I was just passively hearing it, and I was just like, oh, okay, bad guy, oh, okay, uh, you know, he's on the run, blah, 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 you know. So, and then I would appear, look over every so often and I would start to laugh. So, um, so yeah, it's pretty sloppy. Um, it's pretty messy. Um, it's very predictable, very cliched. Um, I wouldn't say it's a disaster of a movie. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's not a good movie, but, um, I, I just, I, I, I got what I expected because I, because of what I saw in Cherry, you know, I, you know, I, I thought maybe this could be a little bit better because this is a, a return to, you know, to what they are more accustomed to, um, and familiar with, but no, it just proves that the Russos need someone, uh, uh, to, to keep them on task and to keep them, you know, um, in control because, like, because they don't have a good grip of, of what they're making, or just their ideas are just too, um, just, you know, like, less style and more focus, in my opinion, because that's all the Russo's movies have been so far with Cherry and the Gray Man. It's just a bunch of fucking style. I don't really consider the Marvel movies theirs, because I think that that's Kevin Feige's movies, um, but, uh, but yeah, the Russos need to definitely uh, reconsider a little bit when it comes to their uh, filmmaking style and just their 
their uh, perceptions of how to create a movie because it just didn't work for me twice now. So, so yeah, those are my thoughts on the Gray Man. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if I if I if I if I don't come back again, just know I'm just enjoying my summer. Um, and uh, you know I haven't given up on movies. I'm just you know I'm just enjoying my time, and I'm going to fall asleep very shortly here. So. Um, so yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts. Uh, hopefully they were consistent or, you know, as consistent as the gray man was. So, um, you know, uh, so yeah, I'm about to fall asleep. So I'm just going to stop now. So, um, so, so yeah, I hope you guys, uh, um, enjoyed this video and, uh, next time we meet, who, who the fuck knows? So, um, but anyways, guys, I'm not dead. I'm still here. Uh, just, just enjoying my time. So, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, whenever that may be. Who knows? I'm gonna go to bed now.